everyone, welcome back. Um, today I'm just gonna do some um, water marble nail art, and the first the first one is gonna be a striped look. So I'm gonna use three colors for this look: black, blue, and orange. You can use whatever colors you like, and you can use more colors or less colors depending on your preference. So I am now just gonna start building my bullseye. Now the bullseye is ready. I'm just gonna go ahead and use a toothpick and I'm gonna draw to the top and the bottom. And then I'm gonna do it back and forth to create a stripe look. Now this nail art is actually capable of doing a few different dips all at the same time and depending on your orientation you can do vertical stripes like this, horizontal ones or um, um, diagonal ones depending on what kind of stripes you're going for. For this I'm just going to go ahead and do a diagonal one and show you what it looks like. And let me just go ahead and move the water. And here is my diagonal stripes. As you can see, there are blue, orange, and black stripes. And of course, you can do this look with different colors depending on your preference. So that's the first look, and I'll be right back with the second look. So the second look that I'm going for is a very pretty uh, flower water marble nail art. So first of all, I'm going to drop in six drops of the white to create the background color. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Now I'm going to go ahead and take my pink and one drop of the pink. Now I'm going to take my red, one drop of the red. I'm going to take my purple and then one drop of the purple. Now that's it. Now I am going to do my flower design. What I'm going for is just a traditional flower. So I am wiping off the tip each time I drag, just so that the tip stays nice and sharp. Here's the flower design and now I want to clean up a little bit. I want to kind of just go in the center and kind of pull, pull it in. And now what I want to do is this. Kind of, kind of pull it outward to give it that really pretty nice um, flower petals.
There we go. Now I'm gonna take a nail and I'm just gonna go for the part that I really really like. Um, so this look is definitely better if I have a bigger nail so it would pick up more of the design. Here is the final look. I think this is very pretty. It's a nice white nail with the flower petals. Closer so you can kind of see. For this third look, I'm going to do a spider, spider web design. And I'm going to do it with white, purple, and black. Of course, you can use white, gray, and black to create a more spider web, more traditional spider web design. So I'm just gonna go ahead and build up my bullseye. Now this is ready. What I'm gonna do is top, bottom, and then side, side. You can probably tell where I am going with this. So you want to keep doing this until you have more or less of a spider web look. I think this is definitely a very, very cool design. Okay. You see that? I think this is so pretty. Um. This look is really great for a really big nail or a very long nail. But what I'm going to do is dip here in the center and kind of pull in the design a little bit. Like so. And I'm going to go ahead and take the nail. And dip about here so I can more or less pick it up a little bit of course this is good for multiple nails you can see that you can still dip here and other places so that you won't be wasting so much nail polish this is a very cool nail Kind of resembles a little spider web. Hope you liked today's nail polish tutorials for water marble, and I will see you next time. Bye!